that we understand the student, what their needs are, um, where they want to head. I think Go TAFE um, has the facilities, has remarkable um, teachers that are also still industry current and I think that's really important. The teachers very nice, uh, friendly, warmly, I like it. We care about our students and we really like them to stay with us until they're work ready. So if that takes them two or three years then we will nurture them until they're ready to go out in the workplace. I think after they finish here, keeping in touch with them is so amazing and that's the part that I really enjoy too. They'll inbox you and say, I've just got an apprenticeship down at Garth Rossi or I'm, I'm doing this or post pictures of their food and you're like, wow, you can see them still advancing and you're like, yeah, that's, that's what you want. Is it, were you filming? Do I need to go into long stories? Do you want to start again? <laughs>
you're not stuck in an office bloody reading books all day and doing paperwork. I'd rather just be out there doing something. The best part about the course at GoTAFE is probably the teachers because it's not like learning at school. They help you out and come out and see how you're going and check up on you, send you a message when you've got to come to class. They're not trying to force you into learning a certain way that someone else learns. Like if you're a learner that learns by doing things, then we'll go out and do things. You're not stuck in a classroom all the time. All the learnings that a farmer can do now, whether it's a short course or a certificate, it's all put together into a package, into a qualification, and that's extremely valuable in the climate that we're in at the moment because banks are now looking for recognised learning and accreditation that farmers need for finance and job prospects. Dairy farmers are aware now that for them to have employees that are going to help them run and maintain and, and be safe and be profitable and be sustainable, that their students need to take some first class education. And it's aligned very strongly with industry, which means that what you're learning is very, very relevant and is up to date and current with what's actually happening on farm. We use a blended delivery model where people can be in the classroom if they are able to be in the classroom, but we beam the, the class out to those in more remote, remote areas. They've even got it on their phones now, so I was talking to a student who's, who's actually contributing to a forum on our online learning platform while she's getting the cows in. We've set up the Farm Career Pathway and one great thing about that is that farmers can look at that and work out what they need to know for their own development and for their farm's development and they can choose what they want to study, when they want to study, how they want to study. We are not the font of all knowledge, we're facilitators. We take dairy resources that have been industry validated, they're world's best practice, and then we present them to these people, being respectful that each of their owners, fathers, mums, dads, employers, will run their business in their own particular way. You know, the thing that I love is that every student who comes to class will bring something new or different into the classroom. It's a program that I learnt down at GoTo. In the last two years we've managed to increase individual cow production by about 15%. Like because I'm from a background of dairy farming, I knew the basics, but I didn't know in depth about animals as much as I could. I love it and I love the lifestyle. I get to rule over this sort of little empire of my own, so <laughs> it's great, I love it. I just think it's, it's really hands-on, which you don't get with a lot of courses, like majority of it is online, but coming to this workshop, it kind of puts all the things you've already done into the practical sense. It's one thing doing an assignment, it's another thing to actually do it in real life. When they come to us, what we work on is building on that passion, but building also the knowledge to go with it so that they can take that knowledge and develop their skills and then work in industry. So a lot of students come into the course and they already have a horse so, so they, they think that they know a lot about horses and some of them have certainly grown up with, with horses but what we give them is an industry perspective. There's an awful lot they don't know and they haven't taken that step to professionalise their passion. We make sure that whatever we're designing as an assessment task is something that's going to be extremely useful for the equine enterprise and for the student to progress through a range of equine enterprises. Most of the kids that come in will say, oh, you know, I know how to handle horses, I've been doing it all my life or I, I deal with a horse every day. What they haven't done is walked into a stable where there are 20 unknown horses and they have to manage those, they have to lead them out, they have to rug them and they have to detect 
what sort of temperament that horse has, what behaviour it's displaying today and be able to respond appropriately and to know what is safe and what isn't safe. And the biggest risk for those kids is the horse itself. So we teach them how to work with horses safely. I think you just remember it more because if you're in a situation or if you need to remember something, it's okay, oh, did I read this in a textbook? But you can actually remember yourself doing it. It's like, okay, what steps did I go through? So you've actually done it and you can use that knowledge. At the lower levels, they'll be implementing a feed program. When they move up, they'll start to think about, well, what's in that food? What, what supplements do they need? When they're at management level, they're actually planning a nutrition program for a range of horses. We have a fantastic team of people with fabulous depth of knowledge in the industry. And I think our real strength is that we have a very good culture of teamwork and how we work together. And we very much concentrate on passing that on to our students. Every horse, no matter what breed, size, shape, anything, they're all beautiful and unique in their own ways. I'm really passionate about teaching and I love seeing people learn and have the enthusiasm for what I like to do. So it's a diploma of sport development and within that course we embed fitness courses and outdoor rec as well. So we try and give them a taste of all three sectors within the sport industry, the outdoor rec industry and the fitness industry too. So the students actually get a bit of a taste for all three and then they choose which one they want to go to. I was researching universities and TAFE courses and found Go TAFE it was easy to get to and thought it would be better than travelling down to Melbourne. For those who are going off into you know, your teaching or your exercise science or whatever, we give them a good grounding in terms of subject knowledge. We teach anatomy and physiology and nutrition, all those subjects that they will be going on to do in university. Look, I think we have a really good program that sets the students up well for after the diploma. So we don't just focus on you know, the here and the now and getting students through just for assessments. We want them to actually take those lifelong skills and, and use them post the course. Ever since I was a little girl I wanted to be a PE teacher, so I've grown up wanting to do something in the sport and rec field, so I feel like I can really relate to how they're feeling in terms of what they want to do with their lives. They walk in a bit unsure and they walk out confident young students. I just love that we can tailor make our programs to suit our students. I've always wanted to be a nurse and then I went from being a nurse I wanted to be something more with kids and then when I was about 11 my mum came up with the idea of being a midwife. So I think Grace probably heard from other students that had gone through the program about how good it was. She wanted to follow a nursing career, so this is going to assist her in getting her VCE, assist her in getting an ATAR to head her off to the direction that she wants to go in. So I'm already learning things that a lot of other people who aren't doing this course but want to be nurses, they're not learning. And she can be secure in her pathway planning and her thinking by going through this program and really working in the industry um, before she has to exit school and it's a final decision for her. So. Well the technical education centres deliver bed in schools programs so essentially what that means is it's a, 
It's an opportunity for students who are at uh, senior school, you know, in, in either a VC or a VCAL program to actually access TAFE, you know, as part of their senior secondary certificates. Well, in school, I think it gives them a really good chance to try before they buy. So they can try a program, say they would, thought they might be interested in building, they like doing wood at school. They can come here and do a, a program, which is really like a pre-apprenticeship program, a VET program. Gives them a very good taste for what the learning is going to be when they're then transitioning into an apprenticeship. And if they decide that it's not right for them, they've got a chance to readjust their program at school and they don't have to go on and be an apprentice if it's not right for them. A kid who says he wants to do automotive because he's good playing Gran Turismo is not necessarily a kid that's going to succeed in automotive uh, when he may be a you know, much better plumber or uh, you know, may want to cook for a living. You know, he loves MasterChef, so he wants to cook. Well, that, that's probably a better alignment. There's so much learning that comes with being away from school and learning in a different environment. It's a different structure than school and it's more adult learning. We're a bit different from school in as much as we don't focus if the kid's not great at spelling or math, but if they're ready to have a go, we'll give them a chance. So what I love about our programs is that students can come and they can find something that they might be really particularly good at, you know, it could be building or it could be hospitality and cooking in the kitchen. And they can get a real sense of achievement with that and see that they have a place and a purpose and get to experience it so they know whether this is the right fit for them in terms of a career before they leave that safety net of school and have to go out and actually obtain work. In the area of building construction, you know, we have basically a 